You had the ability to look at that document. Have you? And if you have, is it malarkey or is it possible evidence of bribery? I have looked at the document. Uh, I am going to follow the ethics and not describe anything in the document, but I can say I have full confidence in the president. And there are two facts I want to bring up. Mm -hmm. One, Scott Brady, who was appointed by Bill Barr, looked into all of this in detail in 2020, and there was no evidence or conclusion of wrongdoing. And second, the FBI director has said that they looked into all of this and they decided there was no need for further investigation. Uh, all right, so, so to that point, let's, let's play out what Jamie Raskin said at the beginning of this week about that very same point. Hey, listen here. What I know is that the FBI Department of Justice team under William Barr and Scott Brady in the Western District of Pennsylvania terminated the investigation. They said there were no grounds for further investigative steps, so they ended that. So he said very much the same thing as you did. Maybe he went a little bit further than what you did. But here's what Bill Barr, who was attorney general at the time, that Jamie Raskin refers to, said about that yesterday with Martha on her program. So it was uh, provided to the ongoing investigation in Delaware uh, to follow up on and to check out. He says that it wasn't terminated, that it was given to David Weiss, who is the U.S. attorney in Delaware, who's looking into the Hunter Biden financial matters. That would seem to blow a, a huge hole in what Raskin has said and what the White House has said about this document. Well, I don't think so, because all of us have said that the uh, a U.S. attorney who is doing the Delaware case, that we have confidence in him. He is, as you know, a Trump appointee. And if there is evidence that he presents, I will take him at his word. But the point is that when it comes to this document, the FBI director and the FBI has said that they had an investigation into it, and they didn't think there was anything further. If they wanted to pass it on to, to Delaware, that is within their right. And I, uh, if the Delaware U.S. attorney wants to look into it, that's fine. I, I guess the question is why, is, why are we getting involved in politics? Let, let him do his job. Let him present to the American public. And uh, I respect his integrity, and I believe he'll come up with a fair assessment. Well, I, I, don't, I don't know if it's politics per se, but the Oversight Committee believes that it has a legitimate oversight role here in looking into all of this. But, but I just want to come back to, as we see the, the president there getting set to talk in Rocky Mountain, North Carolina, I want to come back to what you said. Democrats in the White House are using this process, which Bill Barr says was more of a vetting process to figure out where this document should go. Uh, the Democrats in the White House are saying, OK, this proves that there's no there there. But, but Barr is saying, no, there, there could be there there. And that's why we gave this to David Weiss to look at. So this idea that this 1023 form is irrelevant would not seem to be the case. But the FBI is also saying that they looked into it uh, and they didn't think there was need for further investigation from their end. So, look, if you want to call people from the FBI, you want to call Bill Barr in front of the Oversight Committee and have them explain uh, why the FBI thought there wasn't a further investigation necessary, that's fine. I mean, they can explain why that was the case to the American public. Uh, and Bill Barr isn't saying, as, from the clip, and so, he's not saying that there was evidence of any wrongdoing. He's just no. saying it was referred to, to the Delaware U.S. Attorney. I have no problem that they referred that. And let's see what the Delaware uh, U.S. Attorney investigation concludes. I guess the, the question is, why don't we just as a country have confidence in a Trump appointee who's investigating that matter with Hunter Biden and just give him the opportunity to present his findings to the country? So are you saying then, if we can just button this up real quickly, that the Oversight Committee has no role here? Is that what you're saying? I, I, I'd rather the Oversight Committee be focused on how we lower prices for Americans, how we actually improve the lives for Americans economically. I mean, that's what I think they should be focused on. I, rather, I We have someone in the Delaware investigation who is a Trump appointee who I have confidence in. And I, I think a lot of my Republican colleagues, I haven't heard them say they don't have confidence in the Delaware U.S. attorney. Uh, why can't we just let him do our job, and why don't we focus on our job of helping the American people with their pocketbook issues? So, so again, really quickly, so if the, if the president of the United States as vice president potentially took a bribe, you don't think that's a matter for Congress to look into? I think it's a matter to be investigated, and the FBI investigated it and said that they didn't have any further uh, investigation. And so if, if there was evidence of that, 
then of course it's for Congress, but I trust what the FBI director and the FBI agent said about that matter, and uh, I trust the, the, the president, and nothing has changed my view on that. If there was, of, of course, if there was any evidence of that, uh, th then that should be presented to the American public and Congress should get involved. But the FBI looked at this, as did Scott Brady, uh, and, and they, didn't, uh, they didn't do it. And the matter in Delaware is about Hunter Biden. It's not about the President of the United States. All right. Well, we'll keep watching it from our end as well. Congressman Ro Khanna of the great state of California, thank you for being with us. Appreciate it. Thank you.